Hi, it's Tabby, and today I'm making another sculpting video. I will be turning a one pound honey jar into a Pooh Bear honey jar. I'm starting with the jar and just covering the whole thing with a sheet of Super Sculpey that I've run through Impasta Maker on the thickest setting. This is my usual method. Um, I take the lid and I put some bacon bond on it so that my ultralight Sculpey will stick to it and I round out the top and make a little mound. I'm really trying to get um, a curvaceous uh, type of shape where it's wider at the top and so I'm just adding and adding clay. I end up realizing that it's getting really heavy though and it's not really practical so I end up cutting all of the Super Sculpey off and starting over. Um, so I go on with some more bacon bond and I use ultralight as a base because it's really good for bulking out. You can use tin foil too, but ultralights just can get a lot smoother so you have to put a lot less effort into smoothing on the Super Sculpey layer. After the jar is all sculpted and ready to go in the oven, I bake it at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for about uh, 30 minutes. Then I go back in with that sheet of Super Sculpey and it's going a lot better this round. I apologize how crappy this um, part of the filming is. There's a lot of it where I just did not lift up my camera high enough or my hands are too high. So I cut, I tried to cut a lot out of it, but I wanted you to at least see the shape. Um, so I'm doing the same thing for the lid. I, I cover it with Sculpey, um, well, Big and Bond to start with so that it adheres to the ultralight and then a layer of Super Sculpey, which I then smooth out. I want to add a lip to the jar, so I take a snake of clay and I start blending it into it. I do attach it with some more bacon bond just for security purposes. Finally, I add a little bit of a ball knob on top, and I think this really completes the silhouette. It's such a cute jar in my opinion. I love the way that it's shaped. I take a needle tool and I use it to create all the lines and letters for the decorations on this pot. Uh, I use the side of the needle tool because that will create a smoother line versus if you use the tip of the needle tool, it just kind of scratches and gouges it and it balls up the clay. After everything is finished sculpting and smooth, I put it in the oven and I bake it at 275 degrees for an, about an hour. And now that it's all cooled down, I'm painting it. I chose a traditional golden honey and like maroon colors because that's what I think of when I think of a poo honey pot is those colors. Uh, it took me about two coats of the burgundy red and like three or four of the golden yellow.
I forgot to video the first layer of white, so here's the second one. Um, I'm using gesso as my white paint because my actual white paint really sucks, so I still had to do like four layers of white gesso, so. Here I use a fine tip paintbrush and black paint to go over all of those lines that I created with the needle tool. I wanted honey drips coming out of my honey pot, so I am using UV resin to create those. Um, this is a little bit ghetto because I cut off the bottom of a, a like mini fingernail UV light, and I also lost the button in the process, so don't judge. Um, but look how cute it is! I think it turned out really cute. I'm pretty happy with it. I love the little honey drips. That's like my favorite part. Um, personally, I really do love honey. Blueberry is just like a cute factor, you know. Also, I am dyslexic, but this is just from uh, the reference picture that I use because one of the ends is always backwards. And um, I'm pretty happy with this jar. It's very simple, but I think it's cute. Thank you for watching my sculpt today. I appreciate your support. If you want to support me further, you can subscribe, check out my website, and I will also be at HempFest uh, next weekend. And that's in Oregon, by the way. Uh, thank you. Bye.